Guys, welcome back to our channel. I don't know why you've seen us together like this, but there's this conversation. I want to bring you on it and then find out how you think. But before that, we are playing over it, so you can enjoy as you are playing. So you start. He always wants me to start so that he wins, but forget everybody. I will. So a real quick one though, Franka is more a mathematician than I am. No. I am more a creative <laughs> than she is. Yeah. That's a surprising part. Yeah. So anytime we've played Awari, she always wins me because some way somehow she calculates and gets to play it well and wins me. Yeah. But of recent times I showed her that moi, I'm a player, you know what I mean? It's just because I taught him. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that I use my eye to count the, you know, and I, but but I never use my eye to count it. I just bit, I just beat you hands down, hands down. I taught him how to play the way you You know, you, you sure? <laughs> anyway, okay, so you've played on. Yeah. All right, so guys, uh, the reason we are really doing this video is because. Of something about upbringing. Yeah. When I say upbringing, how you raise your children. It was a very nice play. Yeah, a very nice one. How you, how you bring your children up. Now, I just messed your game up. Wow, nice. Hold up. Keep going. Shh. Back off, back off, back off. Yeah. So, I'm playing now. I'm moving from here. So, one of these days, I went to pick Nishra from school. After school. Whilst I was waiting for her, the rest of the people. So, usually my brother's children were there. But many times, my brother doesn't go to pick them up. I pick them up. See, she has calculated it. She was going to pick this my. You get it? You don't get it? Forget about it. Oh, baby, you're talking. <laughs> it is well. So, if my mother doesn't pick them up, I pick them up. So that day when I went to pick them up, I was waiting for, I think, Chantel and some few other people to join. But they were not, they were not there. Uh, so I was just waiting for them to still come. But whilst I was waiting for them, um, one of Inshira's classmates, some small girl, be, she just came by Inshira and started talking to Inshira. Like, Inshira was at the front, the small girl. If you see the way the small girl was giving gestures, like, I couldn't hear a word. I didn't hear a word. I decided not to hear it because I was sitting at the driver's seat. I decided not to just, like, eavesdrop or pull my ears to it and hear it. But one thought that came to my mind was that what could this little girl be telling? my daughter yeah. <laughs> that was that was a serious question yeah. what could this little girl be telling my daughter that's one secondly to which home is this little girl coming from oh. when i say which home i'm looking at the place where the child's upbringing is so important to me yeah. when i say upbringing i'm also talking about the mentality or the mindset in the house mm -hmm. that's one Secondly, to how the house talks, yeah. like what they say, what they speak, how they have been trained, up. how they have been trained, because whichever influence that girl had, automatically whatever she's telling in Shrada that I didn't hear, that is making me wonder and think about, then I feel like this is going to be war. Yeah. Because definitely she's telling my girl something that. We don't know the source by which it's coming from. Yeah. What do you think? It really got me thinking. So when I came home, I told Franca, and I told her that, like, seriously, then that means that we really have to, like, I'm trying to use the word. We really have to stuff, we really have to stuff Insura, like, pack it up. 
with proper things mm -hmm. so that so that at least no whatever she may be getting from school uh, our own can be more than the standard that, that she would have can to counter yeah. counter ca, ca, yeah you know she would have to um, put them together and then see that okay what's this person said is not good what if my dad or my mom said is right so i'll go with my mom but you know that when you've been trained well not that yes sure or they are trying to deprive you from having friends and all listening to friends if the influence is outside no matter what when you go outside you would meet influence where you would have no other choice than to go with the influence or to stand out of of the influence to be outside the influence so it's either it's either um now what we are trying to do oh is that where i'm going <laughs> yeah what we are trying to do so literally what you're talking about is influence yes yeah, so, so it means that the influence that we give each other from home must be that massive and yes it must be massive it must really sink deep with it yes and natural it, it has to flow with her nature it, it, her nature has to flow with that with our influence that um you will go out and someone will be saying something your your close friend will be saying something where you would have the mouth to say oh no don't say that you know it's, it's it should flow naturally so that's what we are doing for her and not even her only but but for other children, children that would come yeah because the influence outside is so strong that if you do listen to say uh, now now i'm understanding some some, some people and how they're living their life i don't think I, I don't think nobody was trained I, I wouldn't say nobody hasn't been trained everybody has been trained yeah but the influence that comes from outside is so strong that a good child from a good home would grow and get to shs or university and get destroyed you know scripture says that um um talks about how that um bad company corrupt good manners all right you know our mind is some way sometimes even even you a grown-up crap you, know, you you can be somewhere and someone will just say something you wouldn't even think twice about what the person said and you just pick it up until you've met someone who has corrected you or said something against what you've heard that's when you have a change of mind and then and then so. i think um I overheard them talking about some girl B. In short, that your friend who was crying the day I came to pick you guys that somebody has interrupted. What was her name? Ama. Hmm. No, so, is it not the girl who came to tell me that uh, um, uh, a girl is crying? Yes, because somebody insulted her. She's called Kira. So Kira, Kira. yes. So one of the things that happened to me was that uh, one of the things that I really saw was that that same girl who was talking to Inshira. Inshira, is she the one who is the Ama? No, the, 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 the who was talking to me that uh, someone has assaulted my friend called Amma. She's Kira. Okay. The one who was crying is Amma. Okay. So, Kira was telling Inshira. So, ah, then again, Kira went and whatever she heard, there was another, there were another group of <laughs> friends who were standing there. Yeah. Which, whatever thing they were talking about, I don't know. Yeah. And then, this same Kira girl went to the Amma, uh, where the other sect of group of friends were yeah. standing and they were talking. And the way they were talking, like, people would say, like, some ladies, be mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> and then the Kira girl came and told Isha that somebody had insulted uh, Amma. So, um, uh, whatever, whatever may have happened, may have happened. So, I, I think they wanted Isha to come and make a peace or something. And Isha was calling Amma to come. So, I was like, why? Is Isha the leader in the. <laughs> Some is it a boss lady in the in the in the class or in the I miss their friends? That's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Our kids are really going through a lot. That's why I would always say that I would want our children to go out and come back home and and have the 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 edge to the talk, edge tell to us things that they have experienced. That like we want to have that conversation. We want to build that communication yes, with the children. Yes, and even that's what we we've started. And because in Shawn, when she goes to school and something is not going on with her, she comes to tell us until until some the thing that she wants to say is so heavy for her that at that moment she won't say it. But like two three days, she would come and tell us that oh this is what has happened, or she will use it as a statement. Yeah. When we are talking, she will intention ask a question, and then we will get to know that. This is what is happening in the school, outside the school, in the house, or everywhere. So, 
I think we should we should we just be careful. Yes, you know yeah. you know the white the whites likes to have a lot of communication with their kids. Conversations, yeah. Yeah, conversations with their kids. But black parents don't have that. They feel like me me training they they make kind of like sorry. Or baby for complain. Or baby for complain. <laughs> and it's sorry to say stupidity. Because we've been through that. And it didn't help. It didn't help us. Charlie guys, so um I feel like you should just pay attention to our children yeah. more like they need no matter their age they need that attention yeah. they need that you that. should talk to them laugh with them play with them me, me, my, my, my own concern, do, my own concern is you, that we tell you what has, what's wrong and what's not right and all of that yeah and, and my own concern is that you know since then i've not really been asking sure what that girl was saying because i feel like it's not my business it is their like it's children thing mm -hmm. huh it's not just a student thing <laughs> it's not a student thing as it is because uh, Isha might go to school and come back home and she'll be misbehaving good what, what would you do about that or maybe then, she'll start feeling like she's grown she's grown she's like, feeling like, like, so but also, much. you see you know so i'm looking at the influence i'm looking at the the impact that it has at the end of the day all of that. Charlie, See, I know that if I don't move this, you want two, three and catch me. <laughs> so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut up my own house. Yeah, hey, you pick, pick it. <gasps> so, you know, we, like, we don't want I'm to. playing now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This life, if you don't check it well. Okay, so we need to protect our children. Like, we need to put our protect. minds on them. It's very important. So what do you think? Like, what we are saying, if you think it is wrong, or if you think it's right, do let us know. Let us know. It's very important. It's very important. Every yeah. day, she goes to school and brings something else to the house. You ask yourself, what a tall with kids of her age know how to do all of this knows this says this kind of thing yeah like it's crazy we've had a lot <laughs> so when she comes we try to psych her mind we don't force her but we make sure we psych her mind we have conversations we talk as you say we are friends then we all talk together and she understands that oh this is what's has to be done this is not what has hey, to be hey, done. you know for me for her one of the things that i'm very happy about mm -hmm. is the fact that he's she's already verbal yeah yeah like she's she's not afraid to speak she's not afraid to talk yeah. you know so that is that is a thing for me that's one of the things i'm very happy about so even if anything happens she doesn't really um she won't miss yeah she that miss. part of it Okay, guys, thank you for joining this conversation. I've started though. Mm -hmm. I've been watching. I picked you from here. Yeah, I know.